And our understanding is that indeed the vessels had approached the straits, had communicated, and then were turning around to go back toward Odessa when the Russians pursued them and attacked them. Uh, I think first off, we need to de-escalate. We don't want to see uh, continued conflict here. We want to see a, a restoration of some calm. Next, we, we need to see that the Ukrainian sailors and the ships are released. There is no justification for Russia to have used violence, and there is no justification for Russia to continue to hold them. And so they do need to be released. And then what we would like to see is a resumption of serious efforts to resolve the conflict overall. Uh, I think it's something that needs to be looked at. Uh, I think in the first instance, what we should be looking at is the existing sanctions measures that are already on the books, and we have pretty robust laws. European Union has a very robust sanctions package, but we need to look at whether it is being implemented as rigorously as it could be. And according to what's already there, my understanding is that companies that do business in Crimea, including Russian companies, should not be able to do business in the European Union. And I don't know whether that standard is, is being upheld as rigorously as it could be. It's worth the EU looking at. Well, you'll remember that the previous administration had put Ukraine in a very strange position where they are defending themselves against an attack and we're not willing to give them any lethal defensive equipment to help them defend themselves. So they can wave a blanket or a flashlight at a tank. Um, that didn't make a lot of sense. And so what this administration has done is to remove the ban on providing lethal defensive equipment and to treat Ukraine like any other normal country. So I think we've normalized helping Ukraine build a professional, modern defense force.